This is part five in our series on small house design and framing. Today we're going to be talking about window and door schedules. The window schedule and the door schedules will usually call out each individual window on the building plans. It will provide you with more detail on that particular item. You might have a product number, specific product manufacturer's item number. Um, you might call out for what type of window, metal, wood, solid core, hollow core. Glass might call out for frosted or obscure glass. A lot of times bathrooms are going to have um, obscure glass in them. They don't want people looking from the inside or from the outside in while somebody is in there doing whatever they need to do. So that's common. Not so common on a two-story, but uh, would definitely be something you would want on a single story where people could be walking around outside. The um, call-out could also call out for a specific white vinyl dual pane with grids, unless noted otherwise. Unless noted otherwise, you might have the initials UNO instead of that. And again, this really gets confusing. What I tried to do in here was put in a bunch of different things that uh, you might find on the plans. You know, you might find a decimal, 1.75 for inches. You might have a fraction. Um, 60 minutes for a fire rating, you might have a one hour fire rating in there. So this stuff is not all going to be the same. As a matter of fact, I went in and did some research on the window schedules and door schedules before I made the video and was shocked, um, of course not that shocked, at how they varied from project to project, architect, designer to designer. So um, what you see here, do not expect this exact uh, layout here. You can actually use this as a template if you're going to be doing something. Now, when I would do room additions, I rarely made a window or door schedule. I would just write on the plans, and if the city or the county needed more information, I would provide them with that. But most of the time, they didn't. They would be concerned. Um, for example, here we have a garage and dining room door. It's a 2868. This would be the door going in the garage. It's got to be fire rated. So we, it's going to have a, where's our fire rating? Fire rating, 60 minute fire rating. That's usually common for a garage door where you're coming out of a garage into a livable space. If you, were, if you just had a garage door going to the outside, probably doesn't need to be fire rated. Let's, okay, total square footage. Total square footage is uh, is going to be common. A lot of times you're going to want, uh, there are a variety of things. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to try and make a few more videos, but uh, some of these videos would be quite long if I put everything in them. But uh, some, some building departments are going to require energy calculations, maybe a Title 24. I know the state of California does. And if that's the case, you might need um, energy rated windows, dual pane with some type of a gas in between them to provide them with your home with a little more insulation. And this, of course, could be a, uh, could affect this right here. If you have the total square footage, they want to divide that into the square footage of the house and see what the percentage of glass is. So each individual window could make a big difference. And you might not be able to put as many windows as you would like, or you might have to put more windows in um, if they need them. So keep that in mind also. Sizes of the windows, symbol A5036, width and height. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here's symbol A. This would represent this window here. Uh, the number one or B, now I'd like to point something out. Sometimes these are going to have some type of a geometric figure around them, a triangle, a square, or a circle to split them up. You might have a B square, which would represent a window, and a B in a circle that would represent a door. You know, back here, here's our B. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump to a door here. Here we have a door that is symbol one. 
two foot eight inches by six foot eight solid core wood exterior paint grade. So solid core wood exterior paint grade. I drew this in for a reason. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here we can see it. This isn't a problem. This is actually the door. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see right here the architect didn't draw in a solid core door. This one actually has some type of a um, panel on it. So this, this isn't uncommon also. So you are going to come across um, stuff when you're looking at plans. If you're designing the plans, hopefully you don't make these uh, mistakes, but you need to be aware of them. Make sure that you go through your window schedule and look at the doors and windows on your elevations to make sure that they're right and on the floor plans to make sure that they're the right size also. So let's go to the front of the house. Front of the house, we have a door. If your window is is more than two feet away from the side and I, I believe this goes up too but they have another measurement of 60 inches and you would need to check with your local building department um, for the measurements but some windows in your home will need to be tempered glass and i'm going to do a video on that and attach a link to it here at the end of the video for you and i'm going to do that video next it's actually going to be the next video i make so that i don't uh, forget to make it Here's an example of a window that's less than two feet away from a door. The window would need to be tempered. And you're probably thinking, hey, wait a minute, would just one side of the window need to be tempered? Maybe it would, because it would fall within that range, but it uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't think they do that, by the way. You'd get a tempered window, it would be the complete window. Um, glass uh, in a door would need to be tempered also. Windows that are less than uh, eight, I, windows that are less than 18 inches from a floor, top of the floor, would need to be tempered also. And windows in a stairwell would need to be tempered. And they have a variety of different rules, but I'm gonna try and make, put that in the next video here um, so that I don't make this one here too long, which I probably already have. But hey, what the heck, you're used to it by now. So, the numbers will represent the doors. And if you remember on the framing plan, we actually had the measurements that would call out five, this is 5068, five foot by six foot, eight inches. It's not uncommon to have that on the floor plan and then have something like this on another plan, another set of plans. So this would be the door coming out of the garage and I tried to provide you with um, a couple of different examples because sometimes you're not going to have a measurement. You're going to have a letter. You're going to have something else. So here's the master bedroom door I was referencing. And here's the dining room and the garage door. Let's go back and take a look at that. Master bedroom. So instead of having a two, or a three or an A or a B, they're gonna call out sometimes master bedroom door. You're gonna to have to figure out which door they're talking about. Not uncommon. Symbols definitely are the way to go if you can do that. But uh, again, you are going to run into different things for different projects on different projects and you need to be familiar with that if you are reading the plans. You're drawing the plans, you get to be the boss. You get to draw all this stuff in there, put all the information you want in there and make everybody happy, hopefully. So anyway, that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy them. And that lets me know that you want more of them.